Okay, what I'm going to show you today is just how good modern uh, lithium uh, iron motorcycle batteries are. I uh, say so motorcycle batteries certainly can be used on um, cars, race cars, all sorts of things really. This uh, is a Ferrari F1. Um, good example to show you on. You can see it's running a standard car battery there at the moment. Battery cable runs all the way down to the back of the car. Um, and in the back there we've got a ZZR 1400 engine, so quite a chunky motorbike engine. Um, I'm going to start it up now. OK, so that's starting up on the standard car battery. We've got an electric reverse set up on the car, and if I poke this button here, we've got it anchored in uh, with the handbrake on, so it won't go anywhere. But I hit that button and uh, it will kill the engine, basically because it draws so many uh, amps off the battery uh, that um, you lose your voltage and the engine will cut out. Um, now, I'm not going to say that a lithium battery won't, it certainly will in that situation, uh, but um, it will enable me to show you uh, just how good they are. So I'm going to disconnect the car battery now and pop a lithium battery on to show you. OK, so I've now um, just temporarily connected up uh, the standard ZZR 1400 uh, lithium-ion battery. Um, this is an LIP 0014A, uh, standard battery that would replace the battery that you would find on a normal ZZR 1400. Um, as I say, battery cable is running the full length of the vehicle, so that's miles more uh, cable and miles more drop voltage than you would ever have in any normal uh, kit car and certainly motorbike setup. And um, I'll just now start her up. As you can see, starts up dead easy, um, just like with the car battery. Uh, I mean, I can do several starts. Absolutely no deterioration, of course, with spinning the battery over at all. Um, if I now demonstrate the same thing I did before with the reverse, yeah, it's killed the engine. Now I'm holding that reverse in, uh, something you would never normally do, keeping that in for about five seconds or so, which obviously is going to drain a fair chunk out of any battery. Um, and when we try it again now, as you can hear, no deterioration whatsoever, fires up absolutely instantly. Um, what I'm now going to show you is something which I certainly wouldn't ever recommend doing yourselves, uh, but using a battery that is way too small for the application, and I think you may be very surprised at what I can demonstrate here. So, what we've done now is I've clamped up um, an 009 uh, lithium-ion battery, uh, this is a much lower um, capacity battery and, and is uh, made for replacing uh, bike batteries of around 8 amp hours. Um, so, uh, as I say, much smaller than you would normally use the ZZR uh, 1400 application. And you'll see now that she still starts up fine. And I'll kill the engine again with the reverse and we'll hold it in a bit. So, that's about five seconds of holding the reverse in, and um, even then, it still fires up absolutely fine with that dinky little battery. That battery weighs substantially less than a kilo, uh, it's about 750 grams, um, and that's starting a ZZR 1400 engine that's got about four and a half metres of battery cable on it. Something else I'll just demonstrate for you. On these batteries, they have a little test uh, application, and you'll see that even after doing that, that is, I hope you can see that anyway, that's, that's lighting up all three of the test lights, so it's still showing a full charge, even having had um, a starter motor, which is the reverse gear on this car, being held against it for five seconds, and it being way too small for the application. Obviously I'm not recommending you use a battery that's too small for the application, I'm simply showing you what they're capable of. And now I'm going to put another one on that I think you'll be very surprised at what it can do. Right, 
what I've put on there now is no 05 that's about a 4 amp hour battery uh, it's the smallest bar one in the range um, and I mean that is tiny and as you can see it doesn't weigh anything I mean you know <laughs> I'm sort of holding that on one finger on, my, on one hand it's it, you know they weigh next to nothing um, now I'm not expecting this to start the engine up I tried it earlier and it just cranked it but uh, let's have a look well as you can hear it's spinning the engine over and it did actually cough and tried to start um, obviously not ideal for the job um, but I find it amazing that a battery that size can even turn the engine over what's more it will engage that reverse gear um, it won't obviously um, run it properly but it would engage it and it would give you assistance in driving the car backwards um, obviously not something you should do obviously not something I'm recommending to do but does give you an idea of the massive amount of power available within these very small and ridiculously lightweight batteries just one last thing to show you um, this is the battery that we were just uh, trying on that uh, a little um, TX5L uh, FP is the part number um, or the 005 as we call it um, I'd say it's about a 4 amp hour battery not intended for starting ZZR 1400s with but still very nearly capable of it and even having hammered it with the um, reverse gear as well which is drawing something like 200 amps plus um, you'll see that we're still getting that it's, it's got a decent charge in it that would still run any small motorcycle absolutely no problem whatsoever fantastic unit